I like that one. That's brand new and fresh from Dr. Leonard Scott. I feel good like the radio feel good man. Good morning, everybody, and welcome right here to the Psalmica Gospel. I'm not going to waste any time. I want to get this word out before we go to our morning prayer with Lady Sean, uh, who's standing by to share a great prayer that will bless and touch your life. Of course, we are broadcasting live out of Studio 236, and for those of you that can see the live video on YouTube and, and of course, right there on Facebook, we appreciate you so much for listening in. We truly aim to touch the heart of the man and the soul of the woman. This is a real ministry that speaks to your life. And I know that God has truly called me on this assignment and I thank him for putting me on this post here to share words of inspiration and great music that'll bless your soul. Just before we get into the word of the Lord, I want to take this time to wish all of you who are celebrating your birthday for the month of June, happy birthday to you. Indeed, uh, one of the great things about social media that I love and Facebook, it lets you know uh, every person who's your friend who's celebrating their birthday so you can go ahead and message them and, you know, salute them. So everybody likes to be recognized for their birthday. So happy birthday to you if you're celebrating uh, for this entire month. And if you're celebrating your birthday today, happy birthday to you and God bless you. For details on being spotlighted on my show, um, if you want us to uh, broadcast your event, there's so much that we offer here that a lot of stations do not offer online. So for details, uh, you can hit me up after I go off the radio. Call me after 11 at 215-224-4297. If you don't want to talk, that's okay. You can email me at feelgoodman number one at yahoo.com that's feel good man number one at yahoo.com so we're going to be out and about uh this month and in july i just mentioned not long ago uh, i'm going to be on vacation for a few days but my vacations is almost like working i don't know i don't know how to stop working but uh we're going to be in the virginia area so uh down in newport news and portsmouth and virginia beach you guys get ready because that seems to be my second home down here i got some folks that really love me in virginia so they say virginia's for lovers right <laughs> So we're going to be headed that way for the 4th of July, and uh, we want you guys to stay tuned for that because we're going to be broadcasting live, and I understand they got a lot of cookouts that I'm invited to, so that's going to be awesome. Well, let's get into the word of the Lord. Um, I was sitting at my office the other day for what I do uh, in mental health as well, and I do two jobs on a daily basis, and people ask me, how do I do it? It's only God. It's only God. But I thank God for what he has given me to be able to help people who has challenges every day mentally and, and and that's that's truly a lot of work and to be able to run and operate this radio station and work with our personalities and our CEO, Mr. Vince Horsey. But I, I want to share this word that the Lord placed in my spirit because um, a couple of weeks ago and, and I was kind of like not feeling my best and get going for some tests and things and some of you watch my post and I share different things about exercises and taking good care of yourself but we allow some things to just get in the way. Um, some things are going to happen that you know we have no control over because it's a part of our journey. It's it's a part of life sickness and dealing with uh, issues that come up, death and, and relationship issues. But it's it's how we deal with the issue that counts. It's our attitude towards uh, life situations and how we can navigate through life situations. I was just talking to uh, some of my associates the other day. They called me for motivation and inspiration and advice. And I, I tell them you have to learn how to navigate through life situations. And one of the things that can help you navigate is really believing and having the faith and confidence that God is going to solve your problems for sure. But I want to talk about today getting in the way. A lot of us allow people, we allow circumstances, uh, we allow things, some things just get in the way and it gets in the way to hinder your blessings. That's right. Some of us know we don't need to be associating with that person or we don't need to be going to that church or we don't need to be going to that particular place that we're going because it's getting in the way for what God has for you to do. So we're going to go into the book of John. John 14, number six says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth in this life. No one comes to the father except through me. He's a spoiled God. Jesus is our trial guide who makes a new way for all of us to live. While many follow the way of the world by loving their friends and hating their enemies. But Jesus carves out a new way. This is the new way, folks. You got to love yourself first. But this is what he says. He says, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Matthew 5, 44. It's easy to judge and criticize others. But Jesus, the way maker, says to take the plank out of your own eye. Yeah, my eyes. See some own eyes? Take it out of my own eyes. That's verse 7, 3 through 4. And he cuts a path for us to live with generosity instead of what? 
greed. Some of us know as Christians and believers, we're greedy. We have a lot of greed. That's right. We always looking at others to, to, to accommodate us. We're always looking at others to, to push us and motivate us, but love your enemies and bless those who curse you because some of you know that you got some enemies out there and folks have been cursing on you and folks have been wishing harm on you, but I want you to know that God will protect you. Getting in the way, getting in the way, getting in the way. When Jesus said, I am the way, he was calling us to leave the old ways that lead us to destruction and to follow him in a new way for us to live. Some of us know when we're talking about getting in the way, there are some things Things that we are doing, some things in our behavior, some conversations that we're having. And yes, I'm talking about me. I'm talking about Simone Malone as well. We have to learn to put them out of our life so that God can bless us. We got to stay focused because the enemy wants to get in. He wants to get in every which way into our mind and in our bodies and, and all kinds of things. But you said, of course, that you're going to trust God all the way because he is the way. He is the way all the way. And he's going to help you to see opportunities for your life. In fact, the word follow Mark 834 literally means to be found in the way with him. You and I can make the choice today to travel with a familiar and ultimately destructive ways of our lives, but we can follow him and found that Jesus Christ is the only way. One way is his way is the right way. As people of the Lord, we call to follow him all the way and in his way. Although the world won't understand you sometimes, my brother and sister, but you must aim to do right all the time. You must aim to treat people right. You must aim to take care of yourself every day. We don't need to see the way if we're following the one way, which is Jesus Christ for sure. Getting in the way, getting in the way. Listen, I'm going to pray. And of course, Lady Lady Sean is going to pray for you as well. But we allow some things to get in the way, but I'm going to encourage you and inspire you that to put those things in the balcony of your life, put those things behind you because God wants to bless you. That's why God wants to do great things for you. We're allowing, we're allowing some things to just get in the way. And you know what? There are some circumstances in our lives and there are some life situations that come up that you just can't push to the side, but there are some people and some things that you know are getting in the way for what you need to do. It's just stopping you right there because God wants to move you forward but you cannot move forward until you face what you're dealing with but I want you to be encouraged because Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life and no one comes to the father except through me so it's important to read John 14 6 because some things are getting in the way and you want God to bless you and you want God to open doors thank you father but you need to push those things that are slowing you down and are making you think that you can't move forward that's why people begin to talk to you next People don't support what you do. People want to say this and say that. They're getting in the way of your blessings. They're getting in the way of your destiny. You need to rebuke them in the name of Jesus Christ and move forward and say, Lord, help me to love my enemies because we all got some enemies. I know that there are people out there that's even watching this moment that's monitoring me that don't particularly care about Brother Simone Malone. They don't like me. They even they even block me sometimes. Why are you going to block me when I'm telling you something good for your life it's because I'm holding up the bloodstained battle and I'm holding up the gospel of Jesus Christ because I believe in it and I know that he's got great blessings in store for me as well as you getting 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 in the way getting in the way let me encourage you real quick before I get off this radio that you need to stay focused you need to keep moving you need to be proactive in your life because God wants to bless you God wants to do some great things I'm a witness that God can open up doors he can open up doors he can bless you financially in ways that you would never believe when you could go to the car dealership like me and pull off the lot with a nice car and don't have to put a down payment on. I'm telling you, God is good and God has allowed my ministry to pay for my car so far. I want you to know that God, God will cover you and God will bless you. He'll send you a cool praise. Getting in the way, getting in the way, getting in the way. Let me get off this word. I want you to read once again, John 14, 6, that says, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Know that Jesus Christ is the way forward. Follow the steps and the will for your life. Let's touch a degree. Father God, I thank you for this word that you placed in my spirit, God, because I know, God, there are some things that try to get in the way of Brother Simone Malone, but God, I ask you to give me my spiritual radar, and I ask you, God, to give our listeners and our viewers, God, a spiritual radar so they can see the trick of the enemy, not to get out of its way, but God, to pray and rebuke him in the name of Jesus Christ. Help our people, God, to stay on the right path, God, because sometimes we exit off the wrong highway, but we don't have to continue in that same direction. Oh God, we know that there's some things that's just going to get in the way because you teach 
teach us and you humble us that we can fight this battle. And I thank you, God, that somebody that's watching this moment, that's hearing my voice out of this studio, that they're fighting a battle, God, but we know the battle is not ours. It belongs to you. Getting in the way, getting in the way. Help our people, God, to see their way out of their situations, to see their way out of their finances, God, to see their way out of their illness, God. Help them, God, to speak to their condition that it's going to be solved in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray if you believe God in me, you ought to say amen. There you have it, the inspirational moment, getting in the way, getting in the way. For those of you that are watching this and hearing me, I want you to text somebody and tell them to stay in the realm of the answer and not into the realm of the problem. There you have it, the inspirational moment, getting in the way, live out of Studio 236 of FMHDMS. I hope this word has blessed you. Make sure you listen in weekdays, 9 a.m. until 11, right here to the Psalm Book of Gospel for music and words of inspiration that'll bless you and help you to live a better life.